when they go to England or to America, they tend to forget that there is this guy who have hope in them, paying their schools over there. They don't know how he struggled to make that money. But what kind of advice do you have for such people? Because you are one of them. Well, the, the fact is uh, there is a rule and a law by which this world is governed. You can never cheat. If you are given to, you have to give back. If you don't give back, God will take it from you from in one way or another. So um, if anybody has a conscience, I studied in America. The government paid for me for, for my master's. I could have stayed, but my conscience would not allow me to do that. So for all such Gambians, and even those who paid for themselves, I'm not saying they have to come back, but I think it will be great to come back and give back to your country. Do you have something special that you want to tell this guy who have done so much for you and others? Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> That's something special is thank you and keep it up. Thank you for, every, as I said, when I finished my A-levels in 1994, there was no university in the Gambia. I was playing football. I didn't have a job. I could not get scholarship to go to a university. And then he opened the gates of education. And uh, as a reviewer of my first book, uh, Jangi Jolof, eloquently said, President Jame initiated the democratization of education in this country. Higher education was not for everybody before he came. But when he came, he made sure that a village boy from Lamin playing football beside the Abuko Nature Reserve had that opportunity to get a first wall education in a third wall setting. And uh, beyond that, the other thing I want to say, since this week is his uh, birthday, I want to wish him a happy birthday and pray for him for God's continued guidance and protection so that he fulfills his many noble dreams for this country, one of them being, as he rightly says, as far as education is concerned, the sky is the limit. I have a passion for writing. Mind you, I did my first degree in mathematics and then a master's in economics. But uh, from all along, I felt that I have a strong connection with the arts. So I made sure that I never left that part of me. And this is where I give advice to all young Gambians. If you are a doctor, if you are an engineer, fine, good. I am sure there is something else that you can do. I'm not saying leave what you are doing, but explore what is called hidden talents. And I saw this in a book that I was reading in 2002, a motivational book that was advising to look at your hidden talents. And I thought about myself and immediately write down in my notebook writing. I thought that was my hidden talent that I didn't fully explore. And 10 years later, I am able to publish five books and I have two manuscripts ready for publication before the end of this year. It's because I believe that there is always possibility beyond what, what I have achieved. So it does it come automatically. I work hard on it. I sacrifice many barbecues and attire sessions to sit down because writing is a lonely business to make sure that I write. And when I write, I purposely write to inspire young people to help them believe in themselves and to do their best to make sure that they become a very productive citizens in our society. Mr. Sabali, your books are inspired by something like a hidden, you said, uh, something that been roaming in your head and telling you you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that, and suddenly it comes out in the positive. Do you expect one day your books will turn into a movie? <laughs> I think you are setting me up to be a, a script writer. Um, I, I don't like movies, by the way. I don't watch movies. But, and I, I keep resisting the urge to go into script writing. But I have a friend that thought my first book, Jangi Jolof, is so compelling and full of drama. He wants to write a script about it. Recently, a Nigerian who is in the movie business saw my interview on GRTS. I think it was the Fatu Show or, or some other, other program. And he thought I had such an interesting story. We should work on a movie. He has initiated the process. But uh, yes, I'm not ruling out the possibility now with all these urgings. Because for me, I feel uh, my purpose is to inspire young people, especially young people, to inspire them to live their best lives. If movies are going to advance that cause, I will gladly throw my heart into the ring.
One more question that I would like to ask you is that how do you feel after having a hectic day at work coming back home to your loved ones? It's always uh, relieving. I live here with my wife, uh, Jena Batida Sar, who is also a banker, works with First International Bank. And uh, I have uh, three sons, Mohammed, standing right there. I have Mohammed who is going to Marina International, he's in Form 1. And uh, Omar is uh, ABC Learning Center, he's not close yet, he stays for studies. Last year is two years old, he's going to Rosas to daycare, that's a daycare center here in Pipeline. And I've also adopted my elder sister's uh, son. That's Ramu Sabali's son, and his name is Momoli Jaro. He's also with me. Uh, my unique advice would be for young people, each of them to realize that they are unique. Each one person is a unique identity, uh, as proven by our fingerprints. There is only one you, and there will be only, always be only one you. So realize your own innate skills and talents that Allah has endowed you with. Believe in yourself, have faith, work hard with clearly set goals, and you will, inshallah, be successful. And uh, more to that also, to believe that you do not have to go out to be successful. I'm not saying anybody should, everybody should not go out, but I'm saying you can be successful here in the Gambia. We have opportunities created in this country by the dynamic and visionary leadership of His Excellency the President, Chef Professor Dr. Al-Haji Aya Ejeje Jame. I studied here. I am making it here. M is for the million things she gave me. O means only that she is growing old. T is for the tears she said to save me. H is for her heart of purest gold. E is for her eyes with love light shining. R means right and right still always be. Put them all together, they spell mother. A word that means the world to me. All that I am or hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clenched to me all my life. Mothers are the most instinctive philosophers. I can't help it. It appears I'm having a wonderful breakfast, and I hope you do too. On this edition of the program, I hope you had a wonderful time because we had Sabali on books, family, and Venus Evil Servant. We also had pineapple chicken ratatouille, and most importantly, we had words of wisdom. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Join us next time for a brand new edition of the program. Until I come your way again, I am the Kumbadamba and do have a wonderful breakfast. When thinking of a better way to start up your day, remember Kodor Cheese. Kodor Cheese contains elements that keeps you active all day long. It's good for the family and it's good for you. Available at all shops and supermarkets. Proudly brought to you by AMC Trading. <laughs>